This is storytelling with puppets. And the story this time is called The Mitten. It's an old Ukrainian folktale, and there are book versions by Jan Brett and Alvin Trisselt, and I've sort of adapted it from those. Lots of different ways to tell this story. But I like to use a felt board. Um, this is really just a, uh, a lid, a big uh, Tupperware lid with a blanket around it. But a regular felt board with a stand and everything works better. And um, then I have a little table behind it where I can hold, hold my little mittens that I've cut out. Um, to tell the story, you just need a handful of forest animals. Um, you pretty much need, to tell it this way, you need a bear at the end and a mouse at the end. But any, other than that, any different foresty animals can work. And you just cut out a few a very simple um, mittens out of felt of different sizes. So to tell it, I, it's a co sort of a combination of narration and, and puppet dialogue. So here's how it goes. Once upon a time, there was a little boy who went out to play in the snow. And he brought along his two white mittens. But he played and got rather hot, so he took the mittens off. And after he was done playing, he went to look for the mittens, but he could only find one of them. So he took that one mitten and went home, and decided to come and look for the other one the next day. The other mitten had fallen into the snow. And it lay there for a while, until along came, and now I'm reaching into my puppet bag, along came... Who's that? You get a little audience interplay. Yes, that's a chipmunk. And the chipmunk said, chipmunk said, Why, look at that. I I'm so cold. Brr. I, I wish I had a, a good warm place to stay. And that looks like it might just do the thing. I think I'll see if I can squeeze in. So the chipmunk squeezed into that mitten. And he just fit nice and cozy. But to fit into that mitten, he did have to stretch it out a little bit. So it was about this big. But inside, he was very warm and cozy. And then, along came a rabbit. So a couple notes about that, that first part. Um, so the chipmunk comes along. Um, I usually have him say something like, burr, when he first pops out. I think I forgot to do that at the beginning, just as a sort of a refrain that, that each animal will, re will repeat. Um, and then when he gets into the mitten, I sort of exaggerate, slow that motion down a little bit, so he sort of goes up and then down, nice and slow. And, of course, you're not fooling anyone. Everybody knows it's just felt, but, um, and they, they see you take away one, they see you take away one mitten and put the other one back. But the, the, the illusion is still something they, they keep in their mind and enjoy, seeing that mitten getting bigger and bigger. So along came a rabbit. And the rabbit said, Burr! It sure is cold. Uh, I wish I had a good warm place to stay. Oh, look at that. Why, that looks like just the place. I, I think I'll hop in. <laughs> no! Why, hello there, chipmunk. Uh, hello, rabbit. There's no room in this mitten for you. There's not, but surely I could squeeze in. Well, please. Well, if, if you think so, go ahead. So the rabbit squeezed into the mitten, too. And he just barely fit. But when he did, the mitten stretched out even more, till it was about this big. So a couple things about that. I do like to have, well, once the chipmunk is in, I like to have the next animal come and be about to go into the, into the mitten, and then the, the previous one pops out and says no, so there's a little bit of interaction there. So it kind of varies the, um, the pace of the story a little bit. And they talk to each other a bit. One thing about that, you've got your chipmunk here, and your rabbit in front of it. It's very tempting to have them talk to each other like this, which from my angle right here looks really good. I can see both their eyes. But that's really not very good for the audience. They're just seeing the back of the rabbit. So you have to keep the rabbit sort of facing still, at least going back no more than this far, so that the the audience can still see both of their eyes, and they'll, they'll understand just fine that they're talking to each other. So now Rabbit and Chipmunk are both in there. And they were very cozy and very warm. But then, along came... Who's that? That's right, a raccoon. Brr! It's very cold. I need a warm place to stay. Oh! That mitten looks like just the ticket for me. I think I'll just hop in there. No! Oh, oh, Rabbit, what are you doing in there? I I'm staying warm with, with Chipmunk. Uh, there's no room for you, Raccoon. Oh, 
cold, but it's so cold. Please. Well, all right, and please is that other uh, sort of buried word. Um, when they first pop out, it's burr, and when they're trying to convince the other to let them in the mitten, it's please. Well, all right, you could try. Oh, good. I'll just squeeze in, and Raccoon squeezed into that mitten, and he just fit. And they were all very warm and cozy there, but the mitten did get a little bit bigger. But everything seemed just right until along came, along came Bear. Brr, it sure is cold out here. Oh, I need a good, good warm place to stay. Oh, look at that. Right in the middle of the forest, I see, uh, hmm, uh, what is that again? I like to make Bear sort of silly it up a little bit. Uh, oh, I know, it's, um, oh, it's a sock. <laughs> yeah, it's a sock. Well, no, that's not right. Wait a minute. Oh, I know, it's underwear. Oh, no, 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 it's not underwear. It's, um, oh, let me see, what is that again? Oh, uh, I know I can get it. Oh. oh, Bear, what are you doing? Oh, I, I want to come in that, uh... In our mitten? Yeah, yeah, that's it. I want to come in the mitten and stay warm. Oh, but Bear, you're much too big. No, I'm sure I could fit in. I don't think so. Please. Hmm. Well, all right, you can try. Oh, good. I'm going to hop in the underwear. I mean, I'm going to hop in the mitten right now. Dooby-dooby-doo. Doo. Doo. Well, Bear squeezed and squeezed and squeezed. You sort of slowed this down a little bit. Until finally, he was all the way inside the mitten. Very crowded, and when they were all in there together, that mitten got even bigger, and everything was just fine until along came, along came little mouse. Do 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 do. Brr! It sure is cold. I wish I had a warm place. Oh, look at that! It's a mitten. Uh, I'm sure uh, it's very stretched out, and I'm such a little fellow. I'll fit in there easily. Nope. Oh, Bear, what are you doing in there? Um, I'm staying cozy, and there's no room for you, Mouse. Oh, but, but Bear, I'm just a little fellow. Please. Hmm. Well, uh, I guess you could come in, Mouse. But, but here's the thing. Make sure you don't tickle my nose with your whiskers, because I might sneeze. Oh, okay. No problem. You just go back in, and I'll hop in. So Mouse hopped in to the mitten too, and he squeezed in pretty easily. But as he came into the mitten, his little mouse whiskers tickled Bear's nose. And Bear gave the biggest sneeze the forest had ever heard. Are you ready to give a good big sneeze with me? I'd like to get the audience to help me with that. On three, we'll all say, at you ready? One, two, three. Achoo! And everyone flew into the air and landed in the snow. And once they landed on the snow, they decided they were all cozy enough. So they all went back to their own winter homes. So at that point, a little chaotic when you throw everything up in the air, but um, you just kind of gather up the ones you can and leave the other ones, and hopefully the kids will restrain themselves from uh, running after the animals and let you finish up the story, which goes like this. Um, so everyone went back to their own winter homes. And as for the mitten, well, the very next day, that little boy who had lost his mitten in the first place came back looking for the exact match of his other mitten. And when he found what that mitten looked like, he was very surprised. And that is the end of the mitten. And there is one way to tell the story of the mitten with puppets and also with a felt board and some felt shapes.